sheep fans in this video we are back in Northumberland shearing sheep and this time we get a better look at Big Stuart McMaster in that interesting sling that everyone's been asking us about. Everyone commented in the last video saying they wanted to see updates of Young Jock as we go so the videos you're watching today and the next few videos were obviously filmed a couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, well actually the video today was filmed six weeks ago so I'm a little bit behind, apologies. Oh, there you go Jock. And I know it's not as good when it's not so up to date but I'm trying to get a lot of videos out and get caught up with you guys because the shearing season was so frantic I got a little bit behind. So anyway, here's a little look at Jock. Just quickly I want to say thank you to sheep fans from YouTube who have sent us some gifts. It's just quite incredible. We have, uh, we have Mary Olsen sent us this frame with the shape of a lamb and the thing she got here, very accurate. She got like Lizzie Thompson, spelt Thompson correctly without a P, which is amazing. Dolish, which is the little town that Lizzie is from. Kilmarnock, which is where I am from. Jock Simon, Meg, Fern, Alipa, Ram, Hogs, Flock, Cheviot, Scotch Blackface, Gaelic, The Sheep Game. Really cool, really cool, very nice personal gift. We have Costas in Greece sent us a bell for a sheep, which is just amazing. I've never had a bell on a sheep, so I think we're going to put that on Lizzie's favourite Shetland sheep. And also, we have this blanket. Now this, this blanket came from Janice Faust, handmade, like, just in, insane, like amazing. Thank you so much Janice. Very, very nice blanket. We'll get the wee man used to it. And you're all been far too kind with your messages and that, so we really appreciate it. Mm -hmm, okay. And Joe doesn't know anything about it, but I'm sure one day he'll appreciate it. That's enough rambling from me though, sheep fans. Hope you like this video, and if you do, click that subscribe button and join us on this sheep farming, baby rearing journey. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Richie would never do that for me. On a bass Richie. Ah, you know what Richie's like. It's myself and Stuart and Stuart and Anna again in the team. Kieran's holding that fence up there on the back. Third fence that, to be fair. That's on top rail. That's a brand new one. Yes, we've got it all on the go here. The dream team here as well. Mel Stuart looking good. Michael, you made the uh, England team. Yes. For the Scotsman and England team, which is which is great. Great for England, of course, because Scottish people are amazing with the dogs. Good run. Yeah, I was, I was good running up fifth overall, 150 dogs, so yeah. It was 150? 150 dogs over three days and I ended up fifth, so. That's not bad. Please. Aye. I was lying second uh, when the first day, so. Not, not, not back a little bit, so. No, fifth would be fine. Aye, but that's uh, pretty impressive. Yeah. So that's you, and obviously we spoke to Bambi yesterday, he's yeah. going as well. Yeah, yeah. Car share down to Wales. Yeah, that'd be good fun. Ab Aberitz with, yeah, as we tried, like to, as we tried to say yesterday. <laughs> ah, it's, I think it's easy for the Welsh folk to say. Ab South Wales, all day me. South Wales, <laughs> day fine. And uh, mid September? Yeah, se second weekend in September. But it'll be interesting, but I doubt, I was thinking I'd like to get down to it, but I actually don't think that'll time too good because Lizzie's probably just going to have. By that point, actually, by the time uh, Michael wins international, <laughs> Or Bambi. I'm not biased either, or I'll do fine. Lizzie will already have the Wayne. How exciting to think that, in fact, by the time there's vlogs out, the Wayne's probably going to be born, but that's another thing. But aye, okay, good luck with that. Cheers. I'll, I'll, I'll claim, we'll claim glory for Scotland if you win it. Aye, that'll be fine. Aye, some man. <laughs> Job done for Michael Davidson, a, a completed run for Michael Davidson from Scott, from England, sorry, <laughs> with Angus. Cammy will be happy, he's got a, a sheep game hat on as well. Great good to see you Kieran, why don't you do any sheepdog trials? <laughs> I haven't got the dogs to do it. No, <laughs> just, just, just big duke that barks a lot. Aye. Aye. That's it, that's Aye. all it is. Eh? No, but that's, it's just good. Still gets the job done, doesn't it? It does, aye, and he looks pretty cool. Instead of this peely wally peeping about, thing. Aye, that's gone left and right. Aye, and aye, it's lined in. good is it, Link? Lined in. You want the sheep in the pairs and that's it. Aye, you're not going to shift sheep lined in, but barking and running about into them, like that's, that's the way forward. <laughs> 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 
did you? And then the sheep lie down and the dog's barking at him. It's the sheep lie down and the dog's still running about. <laughs> Sorry, I was totally distracted there this morning with all the um, celebrities and the banter. Uh, we've got about 600 here at this first bit. We'll get a drone up, get a few shots, and then 300 at the next bit. Each day is a wee bit less, and then tomorrow's 600, and then that should be us finished for the season. Well, there will be a couple of days shearing, but that's my run finished for the season. And I tell you, I'm actually, I'm pretty excited about it. It'll be, it'll be nice just to have Michael off my back and maybe just switch my phone off for a week, just for a wee holiday. We'll see. After not seeing very much of Big Stu in the previous vlog, I thought I'd better give you a close up of the big man in action. Many of you have asked about the sling that Stuart is using to shear with, and this essentially is called a back aid, and it's pretty obvious the reason why he's using it. The springs help take the weight off his upper body, which prevents fatigue in his lower back. This tool is particularly beneficial for large men like Stuart, who have massive upper body strength, and when bent over, are putting a huge strain on their lower back. It's fine for Stuart and I, because we've just got tiny little arms. Got me tiptoeing around you like you made a blast Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your boots When I use my But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your boots When I use my witchcraft oh, When I use my witchcraft I got my moves, I got my song When I turn my mojo on I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong It won't take long When I use my witchcraft Right sheep fans, that's us finished for the day. <laughs> We've done 640 and we're just going to move to the next farm. Blah, blah, blah. That, that's, uh, that's basically it. Yeah. See you at the next place. Tracker! Right, here Charlie, give us a wee run down of what's been happening today. Uh, Sheeran. Sheeran? Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Who's the top man here? Well, the Shearers. Yes. You. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. That fair shot. That's fair. <laughs> Just because Richie's not here, it's nice. <laughs> nice for a change. Who's, who's, who's the second top? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be a spear because you're so big, shot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't mind if you say it was Stuart. 
Just say Stuart, oh, they're both called Stuart. Aye, Stuart, aye, good answer. Good, on the fence, I like that. Who's the best at the wheel? Aye, there you go, aye. Best at one, you have to get some. And who's got the worst polo shirt? <laughs> <laughs> You're not much to be talking, I tell you. <laughs> it's not that great, that one, is it? <laughs> it's like, I think Kieran's deliberately wearing that terrible shirt so that I get him one. <laughs> but the sympathy is like, I've been waiting for it for months. Last night I went home and I felt so bad for that boy, but I tell you, he wore it again today. <laughs> what you want? Okay, you don't get that sitting in a tractor. No, Stuart sure was a tiny wee guy to start it, Sheeran. He was like Richie's size. <laughs> it's actually, it's hard to put in. I don't know if the camera fully captures the size. Can you get him in the camera? No. Is it bigger than the mountain behind? In fact, you just stand next to Stuart there just for perspective. <laughs> Quickly, just. <laughs> Shut you are just some wee boy. Good to you. Okay, I bet you can't do anything with Popeye, you go up. <laughs> After much hilarity, we eventually get the trailer set up, a comb and cutter on, and we're ready to shear a few sheep. Now the next time I put the camera on, it's at the very end of the day, when we have a guest on the trailer. This is Liam. He's a sheep shearer in Northumberland, and he asked me if he could shear a few sheep on my stand, so that I could give him some pointers. But after watching him shear the first sheep, I told him Robbie Hislop was his man because he was already too good a shearer for someone of my ability level to help. But he's here now, so let's watch him shear this double fleecer. And for anyone who's not aware, a double fleecer is a sheep that has not been shown for two years. And the reason for that is because these sheep cover such a large area that it is difficult to gather them all in for clipping. They're also quite clever and know where to hide to avoid the shepherds. But she wasn't so clever this time, so let's watch Liam navigate his way around this double fleece. Now because this sheep has this double fleece, coming down this last side takes longer than it normally would. And this sheep just gives a little kick and ends up out of position. This is very common on the last side, especially in sheep as wild as these blackies. And it's important to remember she's not doing that because she's in pain, she's doing that because she thinks she can get away. And Kieran just moves around here to steady her head as Liam finishes her off. And after Stuart pulls that cord for the final time, the boss man brings round a box of beers which always taste amazing after a day's shearing. We all enjoy a beer together before packing up and preparing to do it all again tomorrow. That's us for this vlog, we'll see you for the next one cheap fans. <laughs>